u nong ilam kaliang persia hayeng dobar thawain ka jalau dr mukul sangma u long ba ka jing kan ban penbe yo pu sam ban ka jala me galia ban asam dei ban pen song norim halok kikot ki slai ki lopon kre halor ki khal artli ki jaka khap put badan ka jing kanan khanang ban pen khlan ya ka jing kam long trai kini ki jaka da ka me galia haba kran si klar phai khobar ha ka sau trik unai lar ara jar ar puai hadin ka jingwan jurip ya ka shnong yong khuli ka bala sakhi ya ka jingwan kendang jubor ki post le trik ha ka ar nutri unai tong ara jar ar puai u dr mukul long ba kikot ki slai kin pen skam ya ka jala ban pen song nong rim bat ban pinji sai ki jingkam long trai kini ki jaka badon ke chi kanat khapun ulong ba kanu karai ban pen trikam halo ki kam khapun ki dei ban long ki bala pediang hun men siam da ki nong song snong ha ka jala boro ko wei yau doktor mukul sanan lang dau ameli ka kongres ba kon thop yu ba meral bon siam ba hm sang pliang ba men durap sang bat ka miani di sira ha ka nexi lai don lang ru do ba bala jit lani mdc kanong po ba ar karbi kio edm uba and lamari sp riboy district lambat kwe kwe you see it has uh, uh, been a privilege to also the meet to also meet the local people here the gaugura and other residents the senior citizens we have heard them we wanted to know from the ground zero as to what is happening uh, we must uh, understand one thing that in respect of any problem pertaining to the areas of difference along the Assam Meghalaya border areas there has been parameters discussed as to how to maintain order and not to create any kind of lawlessness in those areas and based on those uh, mutually agreed terms and conditions by both the states Assam and Meghalaya it was uh, very clearly indicated that any areas wherever we have any reason to have any uh, confusion or lack of clarity pertaining to anything the two district administration must meet and resolve issues when they cannot then it will be taken up at the chief secretary level therefore it will be only appropriate for both sides to always adhere to those terms and conditions which were mutually agreed to by both the government that was done during the time when i had the last meeting uh, to have those terms and conditions laid down properly so that we don't have repetition of unpleasant incidents which we witnessed uh, in Langti in 2010. And uh, today what is happening is that I think there is this uh, lack of coordination amongst the counterparts. That should not happen because the authorities are responsible for ensuring peace and tranquility, peace and harmony. Any incident which triggers this kind of uh, misunderstanding and resulting in uh, any kind of lawlessness, you cannot sometimes, you know, rule out as to how far it will go. You have seen in areas where small things, we have to ensure that problem, if emerging from any, any area, should be nipped in the bud. There shouldn't be any chance for any conflict to grow. Because at the end of the day, we want to ensure peace and tranquility. Therefore, today in our interaction, in course of our interaction, we have been able to know what exactly was happening. Uh, there is a need for the district administration uh, from Ribhoi to engage with the counterpart, to ensure that repetition of whatever has happened on the 26th of last month doesn't get repeated. And providing the kind of necessary security so that the sense of security prevail, prevails amongst the residents is also the responsibility of the government and government through the district administration. We will be reiterating that government take cognizance of these type of challenges associated and promptly act. Any delay in acting uh, and taking, uh, allowing things to go beyond control uh, will obviously will have its negative ramification unnecessarily. So we must avoid that. So we will be taking up these issues and um, government obviously has its responsibility. Government should ensure the sense of security amongst all the people across the border. And it is not only the responsibility of the state government of Meghalaya, it is also the responsibility of the state government of Assam. Because any action from their end should not create this kind of chaotic disorder. The whole exercise that is expected to happen whenever a discussion starts with an intent to resolve this long, long-standing problem pertaining to this uh, 
Meghalaya, Assam Meghalaya border issue. We understand that uh, resolving this kind of issue is not such an easy task because it has to be mutually agreed upon. It cannot be one-sided, definitely. That's why you are discussing with the counterpart. Therefore, we'll have to look at what is acceptable. Now, what is acceptable means what is acceptable to the people. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is acceptable to the people is the only parameter which should be the guiding principle to arrive at any solution. The moment we decide on anything which is not acceptable to the people, then it will amount to imposition. For that matter, why is these areas of difference along assam Meghalaya border? Because the people of the state disagrees to accept whatever interstate border was demarcated by the Survey of India, you know, based on the uh, Northeastern Reorganization Act 1971. Therefore, this has to be discussed and arrived at in a manner which is acceptable to the people. And in order to justify the claim, in order to substantiate our claim over the areas which we are claiming as part of Meghalaya, uh, today I must tell you that uh, exhaustive exercise have been already met by the state government when I was the chief minister. Okay. And a very comprehensive documentation has been prepared in order to substantiate our claim over all those areas which we claim as part of Meghalaya mm -hmm. to justify that these parts of, uh, rather these parts which are falling within the areas of difference belong to Meghalaya. Okay, the whole documentation to justify our claim has already been prepared and submitted to Assam government based on which we should discuss and Assam has sought time to study those uh, documentation. They have taken time. Now, the discussion, when they sit and discuss, it should be on the basis of this documentation because these documentation are based on the claim over the land by our people. Okay. So, they already have a ready-made documentation which should be able to guide both the government. And I hope they will take cognizance of those material which is available with them and uh, work on those. I'm sure they will have all the inputs. Meghalaya government will have enough material to justify our claim because that work has already been done. Okay. So I hope the interest of the state is protected, the interest of the people are protected, and any decision that is proposed to be arrived at is something which is acceptable. What is your expectation, sir, as uh, uh, the opposition leader? What is, what is your expectation in this? My expectation is are already available. The documentation which is submitted to them to justify our claim mm -hmm. is my stand. Okay.